what's good y'all it's your boy ross back at again with another video so i wanted to kind of let you guys know what happened this weekend where i took my vacation at for those who don't follow me on instagram you may not know there's a reason why i'm bringing this up it, it's it's the overall theme and purpose of this video so this past weekend i took a trip to baltimore maryland man uh you're probably wondering why would i take a trip from houston to baltimore well uh i met someone um uh, i've actually mentioned this person a few times on stream but not by name um uh, her name is jessica uh if you follow me on instagram you probably saw her a few times in uh in my story uh, i think some of you guys may have even messaged me about her but uh i met her on instagram and uh, she actually is subscribed to the inner clutch page and that's how she found out about me and then you know she followed me on instagram and we kind of went from there uh she uh, reached out to me in the dms uh not even on no wild stuff just on some like hey you know i love your guys work on youtube and you know just those type of conversations and we were just going back and forth end up getting her number and i uh, had been conversing with her pretty much every day since like mid-june and we uh decided that um we was gonna see each other uh i made the conscious decision to get some plane tickets and take a trip up there and uh it was everything i could ask for i had a great time with her she's real cool real dope person low-key very very beautiful and it was one of those things where i don't regret making that trip all the way up there and i'm looking forward to us hanging out some more but i really wanted to talk to you guys specifically in the sense of taking a risk this is the reason why i brought this whole scenario up because you gotta take risks sometimes in life and yes it can be scary yes it can be uncertain but taking those risks in life can sometimes be very beneficial for example if i would have just not taken a risk on this situation with her i would have never linked up with her in person i would have never connected with her i would have never like been able to actually you know get a feel for who she is you know um, i would have known how many things we have in common you know I, I would have never guessed you know that whole trip wouldn't have even happened granted maybe i would have saved some money but nothing compares to creating memories and and fond times with somebody so this is one of those situations where i found myself like really enjoying you know her company and and her presence and that's because i took a risk if I would have just seen where she stayed and like, yeah, you know, not really played into the messages, just kind of, you know, really, I guess you could say like not really respond as much or just kind of dead the messages, then nothing would have happened and that just would have been it. But because something inside me told me, that, hey, just give it a shot, see where it goes. And here we are. Here we are in the situation where i've actually met someone i've got a chance to get cool with someone and i'm looking forward to you know what what the future holds for us um i believe she's supposed to be coming in houston so i can't wait to uh, you know show her around the city and i'm very thankful for that and i say this because i want you guys to take risk and it don't even have to be in meeting someone because granted that is a big risk traveling cross country to meet someone you've never met before you've only talked to on facetime that can be you know dangerous sometimes but at the same time i felt like we had really vibed and connected well enough consistently where i was like i was putting my faith in god and taking a big leap of faith that it was going to work out and it did you know that's all i was kind of focusing on is i think this is going to be uh, uh you know kind of speaking it into existence making sure that i had a positive mindset on oh i'm a meters and then we're gonna have a great time and it was better than i expected and i want to relay this message to you guys take risks if you're in, if you're like 
not sure about this YouTube thing, like you're not sure if you're gonna start your channel, take a risk, get the equipment, or if you even if you don't have the equipment, just go out there, post a video, put it out there. Or if you're interested in getting into music and you're not sure how people will receive it, take a risk, put yourself out there, sign up for an open mic, you know, in your local city, you know, or put your music out there on YouTube, on Instagram, on Twitter, let people give their feedback. It may not be positive. It may be some negative, you know, negative, negative feedback that you get from it, but you took that risk. Or you take a risk on, you know, applying for a job that you, you know, you never you don't really think that you could possibly get, but you, you feel like you're qualified for, take that risk. Go ahead and do it. Or in a, in another situation, you want to ask that girl out, but you don't know how to. You're afraid she'll tell you no. Take a risk. Ask her out. Ask her out on a date. You know, like the worst thing that can happen is you get a no. And when it comes to how life is so short especially nowadays if you don't take that risk you don't want to be in a situation where you you have regrets like dang i should have did this while i had the chance now i can't or you know i'm not in a situation where i can now you know you want to make sure you put yourself in those situations where you could potentially grow as a person grow financially grow mentally and i'm only saying this because i'm living proof of it me, Dub, and Brandon took a risk on this YouTube stuff. Look at where we are now. I took a risk on leaving my 9 to 5 to do this full time. Look at where I'm at now. Brandon did the same thing. Dub, you know what I'm saying? Even though he's still working, he still took a risk on getting all the equipment, spending his, you know, money he didn't have for certain things that we needed for the channel. Look at where we at now. Me taking a risk on meeting someone out out of state cross country and i'm in, i can say i'm in a good situation with this person no we are not together um we're not official or anything like that but we're getting to know each other and i'm liking the direction that is heading so um i just wanted to make this video so people understand all my subscribers or people that's new to my channel you know i want you guys if you need this type of motivation to just take a risk do it there's nothing wrong with you know failing but it is something wrong if you don't put yourself even in the race to potentially fail if you don't put yourself out there to take that risk to see what could happen because i'm willing to bet if you're dedicated in someone something and you take a risk there's a good chance you could be good at it there's a good chance the scenario could be positive so i just wanted to put that out there for you guys i want to keep trying to inspire you guys to be the best possible versions of yourselves don't limit yourself i am li living testament of me not limiting myself to a certain way of life I want to make sure I live the best life I possibly can. And I want all my subscribers and everyone that rock with me to have the best possible life they can. You know what I'm saying? So if you don't take anything from this video, just take, just take this. Make sure you put yourself out there in a position to succeed and don't limit yourself. Take the risk. See what can happen. As long as that risk doesn't involve you losing you know, your life or anyone getting hurt, cool. But outside of that, take a risk. What's the worst that can happen, man? It's life, man. It's real short. So try to live it the best way you can. But comment down below. Let me know. Would you guys be interested in uh, whenever she does uh, come to Houston? If I vlog that, you know, I, I know I didn't want to vlog us first meeting uh, meeting up for the first time because i, I kind of wanted to just kind of keep it private between me and her uh not that i'm ashamed for y'all to see who she is or anything like that but i just wanted to keep it low-key because you know i wanted to spend time with her i wanted to focus on her rather than creating content but when she does come to houston if you guys would be interested in you know me creating a vlog of our adventures in the city me showing her around comment down below let me know if that would be something you guys would be interested in but i appreciate all the love and support road to 60k appreciate y'all kicking it with me i'll see y'all on the next one peace